Hey, all right. It's time for Super Beard Bowl Season 3. It's the same, but different. You'll see what I mean. This month, the bros are doing Alex's Burger Rush, where Alex goes around his hometown of Los Angeles and shows you 16 of the best burgers around. And Ted's gonna film it. The next public vote begins Monday, October 4th. So be there or be square, okay? When it gets difficult, I head towards the water. You can feel the whole world cool down as you cease to be inland and the trees turn green and sway in the breeze. I'm not sure why I'm like this, but to me, it only feels natural. I was born by the ocean and it feels better the closer I get. It's a comfort to me and a very dependable one, and sure, why not? It just so happens to hit in the exact same way I get from eating a delicious cheeseburger. Beef and fire and onions and cheese tempered into one great natural thing that works, that functions, something that makes sense, like the distant roar of the surf and the sun and the sea. The burger is the beach of foods, and the beach is the best, my dude. It's nature. And today, I'm driving down to the beach for some of the best burgers in Los Angeles, and honestly, you're lucky I'm dragging poor Ted along with me, because otherwise I'd just keep it all to myself. Now, this is a scientific enterprise here, true gastronomic journalism, so we're going to In-N-Out Burger first because it's too haunted for some of you, too controversial, and worse than that, it's extremely obvious. But the title of the show is Alex's Burger Rush, not yours, so listen good because these facts are not currently up for debate. If you are interested in how burgers taste and look and are created in this part of the world, there is no more perfect example of that than In-N-Out Burger. It is an icon, an ideal, the template. And if you cannot acknowledge this fact, especially as part of some weird online war you think you're in, you must be missing key information. This is not about preferences or variety or whatever it was in your life that led you to having your very unique hamburger needs. In-N-Out Burger is doing the exact same thing they've been doing since 1948, and it still draws the biggest crowd on the block because it is still the best, and it is a primary source in the hamburger canon, and nothing anyone says is ever going to change that. It's holy. It glows. It's open late. It's fresh. It tastes great. It's the best. It doesn't matter that you like a meteor patty or that you don't like onions or that you see a lack of variety as a weakness or that it'd be nice if there was a bacon or avocado option, maybe just on the weekends. None of that matters because that's not what a hamburger is all about, right? And in and out out of pretty much anyone should know. Anyway, here I am at In-N-Out Burger in Marina Del Rey. It's a nice beachy vibe for me to go. I mean, there's a million In-N-Out Burgers out there, but this one is a nice beachy one that I haven't really been to very often, so it's not home trip advantage vibes, you know? I'm trying it out. I got the Double Double. It's a classic burger. It's got two patties. It's got onions. It's got a hell of a lot of American cheese. It's got lettuce. It's got tomatoes. It's got secret sauce. You know it. Everybody knows it. It's, it's a cartoon drawing of a burger. It's perfect. So let's just get it out of this nice little wrapping paper we got with all the little Bible verses on it and whatnot, take a nice big bite of an In-N-Out Double Double Burger. Wow. First thing on my mind is how fresh this burger tastes. The burgers themselves are really thin and crispy, so they have like lots of like meatiness and like char on them and you get really a lot of flavor. And the cheese is American, but it's nice and oily and flavorful. It's really just fucking good. And uh, yeah, this tastes exactly like I expected to taste. I couldn't be happier. In and out, double double, going in. <laughs> um, are you still rolling? Yeah. Ted. Hey Ted, do you like In N Out Burger? Uh, it's you know, it's okay. What's wrong with it? 
There's just everything swimming in onions. Okay, so it's the onions. You want to bite? Uh, no, thank you. No, no, you don't want to. It's really good. You sure? No, yeah. Not an onion eater? Yeah, it's got onions. I'm out. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, to each their own. I told them to put onions on it, so. up the beach where the skaters break bread with the freelancers and people who take really good care of their dogs between venice and ocean park lies the window at american beauty serving sleek perfect little onion cheeseburger meat clouds with deeply flavorful and structurally sound earthy french fries in the front yard of an elegant young steakhouse across rose ave from cafe gratitude it feels good to stand in line beautiful, the weather is perfect, and the simplistic menu doesn't seem to bother anyone very much with ingredients like these that can develop such rich and disgustingly unctuous flavors in your warm brown paper bag treasure pouch. As we approached the gentrified burger stand, Ted's eyes grew wide. Wow! What is that incredible smell? I was too focused on the menu to answer, but I did think to myself that it didn't matter whether he meant the burgers or the beach. Alright, here I am at the American Beauty at a place right outside. Here I am at American Beauty, uh, right in front in the courtyard of this beautiful steakhouse in Venice at a place called The Window. They do cheap burgers, they do them right. And as you can see, they keep it really simple. Just the basics, cheese, pickles, and burger in there. And that's all we got at a nice big pile of caramelized onions, Ted's favorite. We're gonna just get right in. This is like a nice pillowy bread, nice and hot. This is a much higher class burger, it feels like, the In-N-Out burger, but you know, whatever. It's like to each their own, I think. But man, these pickles look really fresh and green. I just can't wait to take a bite of this. Mm. It's so like oniony and so like light, billowy, almost like a donut. Like it just feels like you're biting into like a fluffy ball of deliciousness. It's so good, the pickles are really fresh. They're not like flabby. It's like, you know, just one level up and the, and the onions honestly are like taking this thing to the next level with this little secret sauce that it does. It's kind of doing the same thing that we were doing just a second ago, but it's just doing it. I, I would have like a glass of wine with this burger maybe. It's pretty good. Mm. You gotta wanna try this one. You gotta wanna try this one. No. You sure? What if you bite around the onions? I don't want to try just this. Just a little side taste? Come on. I don't want to try this. <laughs> Dude, How's it, it going? was so special. Like, it felt like it was just like some guy made it for me. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't feel like it came off like... Turn left. It didn't feel like it came off a big grill or anything. It just like, had this really good, like, the onion was like really oily and buttery. It was like getting all over everything and the grease was like all good and like filled with flavor and the patty itself was just all like... It felt like the patty was like melting. It felt like it was like fucking melting. Like it was pieces of fucking like a sloppy joe that were like in suspended in onion fucking sex juice. So good. And the pickle was like strong. It was a strong pickle. It had bite. It held up to shit. It wasn't like throwaway fast food poison fucking what is this conspiracy to make children hate pickles pickles. It's a fucking delicious pickle. Shit. Pick up my friends, quarter to ten We're gonna have fun tonight I'm feeling alright and the radio's on When bam, I'm hunger inside Open late, let's drive through the place With the quality that you can't taste
man coming out means a holy shit I'm talking in and out Up next on Alex's Burger Rush, an echoing cheeseburger hourglass of sweet, rich, wooden flavor essence, paper cups, and understated streetwear flows and inverts onto itself. And I'm going to film it. Don't, don't, don't believe in magic. Don't, don't, don't be so quick to walk away. Don't, don't, don't believe in magic. We're going to play the game. PlayStation all the time. 